Hello. In this video, I want to show you how to create a four bar uh, linkage uh, or a four bar mechanism inside Robot Studio. It's uh, really simple. Uh, first, we need to import some geometries, of course. I will just extract them so they're not tied to any part. Uh, so when we have the geometries we need, we can just go to modeling and create mechanism as we would with any type of mechanism. Uh, we need to define the links. Uh, we have link one here. Names here are intuitive. So uh, first link is base link. Apply, second link, apply, third link. And these are, of course, the parts I have. Uh, they just conveniently named link one, two, three, and four. So, third link, apply, and then the fourth link, uh, and hit apply. And now we have the four links that we need. We can move on to uh, set the correct mechanism type. Uh, so for a four bar linkage, we need a device mechanism. So now we can go to joints and you can see that this four bar linkage here is clickable. If we would go for an external axis, for example, uh, this is grayed out. So it needs to be a device. So we can click this and we get this uh, really intuitive picture here. Uh, so if we look at our uh, geometry, our model here, we have parent link, it's what we choose as the base link, so it's this one. Uh, we have the child link, in our case it will be this one. We have the rocker link, in this case this one, and the crank link, uh, which is here. Of course, this one could also be the crank link if we set the joint axis here, but I'm going to set it here. Uh, and the joint axis is the, uh, the, the driven axis if you want to or it is the driven axis. So first let us set this, uh, this um, joint axis here. Uh, in the middle, and then this one here. So there we go. Uh, then we can move on with the parent rocker joint position. We can look at this picture here and we can see that uh, rocker link and parent link, so the parent rocker joint position has to be here. So we can put it here. Boom. And then we have the rocker child joint position. Again here, child link, rocker link, this position. Here. Uh, and then we need the child, the crank child joint, joint position. And again, child link, crank link, this is the position. So let's choose this one here. Um, and child link, this one, in my case, this will be link number three. So choose this one here. Rocker link, this one, in my case, it's joint number four or link number four and crank link this one, this one here in my case, it's it's link number two. So now we can apply this one, everything is good. Um, and we don't need to set up any more joints. And we can compile this mechanism. And we can see if we move this one now it moves as expected. So a really simple way to set up four bar linkages in Robot Studio.